There we go and well it is getting really crazy really fast. If you're interested to recreate this camera slider on your own I will also put them on my Etsy shop. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Thursday, another day, another chance to push hard and the topics for this one. Well, it's a bit of unboxing. Finally got my slider and my motor, so let's get it. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So check this out. I finally got my slider. Oh, that was loud. I'm sorry. And I also got my motors. So let's unbox it. A bit of gist to make it all special. Well, just joking, this is obviously from my bleaching blog. If you missed it, check it out. Yeah, my hair bleaching. I bleach my hair four times. Anyways, so check out this sweet slider right there. I bought this thing from igus.de and well, I already unboxed it. Just wanted to show you this thing. It's a linear rail. Well, two of them and well, they are connected. It's a thick piece of aluminium, which gives it a lot of stability amazing and that's a sled right here you can actuate these little screws to make it tighter to make it fit perfectly and it's lubricant free and yeah it slides very nicely and the next step is of course to motorize this slider with a first axis in this direction i want to design two parts for each end one to hold the motor and little feet and the other one needs to hold the belt in place and feet as well. Shouldn't be too hard. I think I should actually be able to show you the design in this vlog. So let's hope for the best. And now let's get, well, that is NEMA 17 motor. Let's get to them bigger ones. I got myself four NEMA 23 motors for my CNC mill project. And check this out. They are way bigger, way, way, bigger and way heavier oh my god heck yeah looking amazing so let's put this little bugger aside let's have let's get a good look at these anima 23 motors oh my god it's huge with a round shaft i hope that won't be a problem oh i'm barely able to turn it nice crazy directly from china of course to save a substantial amount of money you can get them so cheap nowadays, it's crazy. So, got the motors and these are power supplies and drivers. So let's check that out next. Okay, let me just unbox everything and then I will show you. And there we go and well, it is getting really crazy really fast. Two massive power supplies right there. Serial port connector, serial port cable four motor drivers right there and the motors itself is looking and feeling pretty good. Nice, good purchase, good purchase I have to say. Really nice. My CNC project will get continued once I get my kit. Maybe like in one week or something like that. I'm totally looking forward to that. I also already purchased, well, I ordered a spindle, 1.5 kW. But for now, let's get to this slider. Let me design something sweet and yeah, I will see you in a bit. Okay, so check this out. That's what I came up with. This is for the motor side. Uh. And I will mount the bracket on there just like that. Oh my god, this is the perfect size. This right there, that's the other side basically. And that's the, the, the slider right there. And meanwhile, I already printed the motor side, so let's test it. And this is only a 10% infill prototype. Later on, I want to go for 100% infill. And I will probably glue this thing onto the slider. Oh, by the way. That's the bearing roll for the other side. Well, belt roll or something like that. Okay, and now let's try to... Oh, heck yeah. Pretty freaking perfect. This is really nice. It could be a bit smaller, but damn. 
This worked out way better than expected. Okay, and now let's go for the motor. Washer plus screw. Let's get it in there. Please. Oh my god, barely. Ugh. Yes. Okay. You know what? Oh my god. Let's get this motor loose instead. There we go. There is actually no need for a nut on the other side. So just like that. So, and as you can see, you can slide this up and down just a bit. We will see if that's enough. So let's get this motor in there. Wait a second. I am so stupid, I can't believe it. That was actually the wrong, <laughs> the wrong way around. Just like that. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's more like it. Motor goes in there. Just like that. Alrighty, this should do. That's the thing right there. Not too bad, I like it. You could put the nut on the other side and it would work better the other way around because this way you can go in there with a, a wrench. But anyways, check this out. Now you can slide it down and up. And yeah, that's actually, it's actually pretty nice. It's a nice feature. So let's put it together. Just like that. Oh my God, I really like it. You can slide it. Oh my God, this is perfect. In this position when it's like, well, when it's like one level with this thing, it's that's like, that's a perfect freaking position. This is so nice. Oh my God, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. And I also love the looks. Hell yeah. It's pretty freaking perfect. Just like that. Hell yeah. I think I will also go for a backside. It would be wise to tap these holes first so that you can use it with a tripod as well. This is, you know, the purpose of these is just, you know, to give it a bit of stability. But yeah, this is actually really nice. I like it. And again, that's the other side for the belt. This little ring disc thingy right there. And I will also put them on my Etsy shop. So if you're interested to recreate this camera slider on your own, and don't have a printer, you can just, you know, you can just buy the parts because essentially you only need, you know, the printed parts. You can get the rest fairly cheap from Amazon or China. I might actually be able to finish this project tomorrow and then I also need code for it to work. And this will be yet another substantial vlog probably. Well, a substantial project because this will, this will be crazy. But yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button away, I will smash this camera slider project. Bang that bell like crap to always get updated on the camera slider project. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>